Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net. I am joined by Chance Ivy from Epic Games, and he is the community manager on the Unreal Engine. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had an interesting topic to, to bring up today with virtual reality and its design challenges. Yeah, so it's interesting. You know, there's a lot of focus on VR right now. There's a lot of, you know, people pouring money and, and passion into it. So we're seeing a lot of really great things uh, uh, come out come around in the VR space, you know, with the Oculus Rift. It's, it's really getting what feels like, you know, claws, and it's, it's, <laughs> it's getting rooted into the mainstream. And <clears throat> for a long time, there's been arguing about if it's if it's legitimate or not. And I think we're actually seeing that, yeah, it is. You know, it's really, really so going So you think crazy. it's it's going to stick this I, time? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Epic sh certainly does. We're, <laughs> we're, we're diving pretty heavily into it, especially on the engine side. Yeah, with that, there's a lot of people out there making cool stuff. And, you know, there's uh, tons of things you can download now that are like spaceship or cockpit simulators, uh, right? Because it's really natural. I mean, you're sitting here in this chair, right? And you can... <laughs> Imagine yourself doing something that doesn't require anything but you sitting here. And uh, what's cool about VR actually taking off and getting its legs is all of the weird design challenges <coughs> that we've run into since the beginning that have made people sick, that have like had to try to break the whole, my head's doing this thing, but my fingers are trying to be the thing that moves my, my uh. person around, uh, that break. A lot of that's being solved now, and so not everything is solved. There's still a lot of, you know, wild west of VR, if you will. But it's it's an exciting time to be a part of it. Uh, and I remember, I remember the first time I got simulation sickness from it. And I was like, I think I might be done <laughs> <laughs> for a bit. So what about things like, what aspects of traditional game design are the most heavily influenced by VR? Are there certain accommodations you have to make in the design specifically process? for VR? Right. Yeah, so <clears throat> there's a really great document written up by Nick, who is the technical technical designer, technical artist, I guess. It's kind of all over the place. Nick's been at Epic doing a little bit of everything. Uh, but it talks about some do's and don'ts for design. It's things like stairs uh, are not great, uh, but lifts are good. And a lot of that it comes down to the fact that in VR, we haven't found a way, and I don't really know that there is one, to accurately emulate or simulate um, force, like acceleration, and actual sense of gravity that is separate. Like in a video game, you can flip a car. Mm. And I've made VR games before that are in a car, and the minute you flip it, it's like, you know, the game says gravity is that way. And I say gravity is that way, and my mind's like, I don't, I don't really like anything that's going on right now. <laughs> uh, so with that, it's, you know, something you have to keep in mind when it comes to rotation of the head it kind of has to follow, gravity always kind of has to be in the same place. Uh, there are some ways around that, like if you're doing a space simulator, right, and you're flying a jet in space, because right. you can you know, suspend your disbelief <laughs> just enough uh, to know that, oh, I, I really shouldn't feel, I, the weightlessness feeling should kind of be here even though I'm still sitting, um, and it's okay for my plane to flip upside down and, and do those kinds <laughs> of things. But that's been one of the bigger ones that that it's been kind of a no-no. It's it's the same as like if you're a car and you're a car and you slam into the wall, your body doesn't have that inertia, right. that forward motion that comes to that sudden halt as well. And so that's something that'll really, you know, put a put somebody into a little bit of a <laughs> shock state, if you so will. So why uh, why are stairs bad? So I think a lot of that too is the fact that when you move upstairs, you expect. You expect your body to be doing things like that, kind of have like a step, 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 you know, with the right. head bob. You don't want to mess with the camera in VR either. You want it to kind of like stay the same. So <laughs> stairs kind of move like forward and backwards and left and right movement in VR feels almost natural enough because you don't have enough of that acceleration. But when you have steps that are going up, you can feel the, the extent of gravity as you move. Right. right? So imagine walking upstairs or a ramp anything like that, walking up or down those, you can feel the changes in where your body is and how gravity is, is affecting you in that. I think the reason that the lift is different, like I get into a lift, you know, like an mm. elevator or something, that if things move directly around you, uh, that is something that the body understands, like directly. Right. It's, 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 a, it's very much up and down, <laughs> and then we've got this around this way. It's when you start to mix those two, things get a little weird. Uh, there's probably some great science behind why that works, but it's just some of the information we've extrapolated from testing and seeing the things that have made us throw up on our computers. <laughs>
Uh, so you you mentioned a few design don'ts with VR, uh, like stairs. Yeah. Are there any any elements of design that are almost exclusively introduced because of VR, or is there uh, something that as a designer you're drawn more toward using with VR games? Yeah, it's interesting. It's an interesting thought. A lot of people are looking at cockpit simulators because it's the it's the thing. It's the it's the my head moves. I'm sitting on this chair, and this is. This is where I normally operate in games. So I'm playing first-person shooters. I'm putting my head into the player's head, right? Right. Um, but I think there's a lot, there's a lot to be discovered and found out by taking the camera out of the player's head, not not switching between the two. That is extremely jarring. <laughs> but having it somewhere else in, in the in the game that is actually watching the player, uh, and it's less about head tracking and more about the stereoscopic and feeling like you're looking over something. Uh, with that as well, like people are having great success in putting outside of the game space uh, people into places that either don't really exist, don't really exist anymore, or too are expensive to go to, right? Like I think there was something that just happened to Coachella with Paul McCartney that you there was like the yeah. 360 cam that was on stage there yeah. so you could like take control of it and be like, <laughs> I'm actually there. I think we're going to see a lot more of that too. Uh, so I guess we'll close out here with uh, you work on Unreal Engine, of course. You yeah. Do community management there. Um, a lot of our audience aren't necessarily game developers by trade, right. but if they wanted to play around with it, uh, you know, where where should they go to learn more about yeah. Unreal Engine? No, that's great. So with Unreal Engine, you know, it's it's you're free to download, free to use, and uh, it's available at UnrealEngine.com. You can just sign up for a free account there, download it, start playing then, and we have like I said, out of the box. Uh, VR support. So if VR is your thing, you can just pick up your DK2 or DK1 or anything. We've, we've, we've been working with the Crescent Bay prototypes as well and a slew of other devices as time rolls on. You, the, the stream has more info of all that stuff too. But um, yeah, it's kind of plug and play at this point and it's really great. It's, it takes hardly nothing to get started. So Always good news. So check out links in the description below for more information on all this coverage and we will see you all next time. All right.